Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the Tom O'Brien Show. I want you to take a look over on the screen here. This is an article I found really interesting. It was financial illiteracy epidemic. 57% of Americans can't even score 50% on a financial literacy test. Now, this is a new report from Global Financial Literacy Excellence Center. They've been doing this test only for a few years right now. Uh, but this is one of the major uh, criticisms you hear about the education system in America, that it doesn't prepare the youth um, for the real world of, of finance and, and really personal finances, right? And this is why, uh, you know, one, I love working here because that's what we try to do at TFNN, right? We try to teach people who aren't familiar um, and really create a network of people who've been doing this for a long time. And uh, it's an amazing thing. So I'm really happy to announce that Basil Chapman actually is having a new subscriber webinar, okay? This is gonna be July 23rd from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern time, so this is after your trading day. It's sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle. Of course, this is 90 minutes. You can check all this stuff out here. Will the sector rotation see new groups rallies? Can the out of favor big losers become winners? So on and so forth. And guys, what I wanna say, if you are a subscriber, to the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman, you get access to this webinar for free. So you gotta subscribe to check it out. Before you do that, really recommend going here and getting uh, some Tiger Dollars with this sale. There is no better time to get yourself Tiger Dollars in this sale, and then there is no better time to be an opening call subscriber. Basil Chapman, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Jacob, how are you? I'm doing well, uh, quite an interesting market the past few sessions, huh? Well, that's for sure. And it's also such a fascinating market because the, the, the aspect that I thought was just an idea for me, and it was an idea that more and more I looked at uh, different sectors and I said to myself, you know, I think this Microsoft stock is telling me a great deal. And I said that the way that IWM, the Russell 2000 is, is just sitting there, if money starts to flow out of the semiconductors, they don't have to tank or anything. They just need to not go up or stall. That money has to go somewhere. So let me go through this right now sure. because the Dow, here's the Dow on the left is the daily, in the, in the middle is the weekly chart, on the right is the monthly chart. I won't go through all the technicals. I'll go through some of it in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour tomorrow morning. But as you said, I've got a webinar coming up a week from Thursday. And the whole thing about it is to talk about these patterns. Um, and most importantly, what we're looking at is there's something that I use, which is called the 914 moving averages. So if I go uh, if I go to this chart right here, you'll see this little th green line right here is running sharp and it's above the 14 period moving average. So the green is the nine. The 14 is the black line over here, and you can see how strong it is. But this weekly chart, um, since it crossed positive back in the first week of November, has remained green. That's the weekly chart. Even when the market pulled back, when the Dow pulled back, it ran. So this is very interesting. There's a cup formation that went to a, like a W. There's two U-shaped patterns. And now we're breaking out. It was really important that we broke above that 40,077 high that was made earlier on. That was on May the 20th. So a couple of things. We've been, we've been long. You can see it says long right here. That was the day of the low on uh, October the uh, 2022. We've remained long and we add to the positions. We also have the three times long, we, we are, we're looking at this as if to say there's a chance that in 2024, all, all the indices, key indices, will get to major highs. So what's lagging? So the Dow acting really well. And as I said, Microsoft, which is in the Dow, look at this, it's stalling. Yet the Dow is up 700 points and Microsoft is down, uh, it's down almost five points. So this is a, a technique that I, I discovered a long time ago. I, I don't want to get into it now because it's taking too much time, but in my show tomorrow, I'll talk about it. It's called, the, I, I always name these patterns and I give them a little a, a funny title because that's a good way to remember them. I call it the stalk leg formation. You can see there's a little design here that says straight leg up, one leg, and then there's a very oval body. It has to be oval. And then there's a neck and then there's the beak that comes down. And here it is. There's the long leg. Here's the oval pattern. There's the beak. And we'll see if Microsoft doesn't start to pull back towards the 431, the arch high. So that's in the down. Now, isn't that interesting? Because mm -hmm. 
even with that, the Dow is up huge. And that means, and that's the reason why I wanted to do this webinar. I was hoping to do it this week, but I, it, it turns out that I'll do it next week. But in my overview that I do, I do an hour-long overview every weekend for my subscribers, besides my daily newsletter, and I discuss these aspects. And I'll do it again this coming weekend. I'll, I'll have this, I'll, I'll, I'll start the, the webinar, which is coming up a week from uh, today. Uh, Thursday. Well, a week from yeah, oh, the 23rd today, week on from Tuesday. Today. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, that's right. So I want to get ahead of the game. So most importantly, the Dow is the United States economy, and that's really hmm. the, the Dow 30. It just is a great mix. You've got financials, and we have a financials breaking out. This is Bank of America. Look at that move. Who would have thought that Bank of America stalling in the 30s could suddenly be at 44, but that's <laughs> really important. So you see this kind of lopsided U-shaped pattern in the uh, monthly chart. Look at this. Keep your eye on that monthly on the right. Here it goes. Look at this. Look at that. What is that? That's the iShares, the Russell 2000. So another reason why I wanted to do the um, webinar as soon as possible is that we're getting a rotation through the different sectors. And until the IWM started to really break out and move to show that it's got leadership capabilities at the same time that the SMHs, which were the leaders, start to stall I didn't think I was that comfortable saying that the IWM could lead. But look at this pattern on the right. Look at that U-shaped pattern. And we're already more than halfway into recovering towards a 244.46 all-time high. So we've been long, and we want to add to the long positions. And the, the reason that the uh, webinar will be very important is because now I'm seeing that I can actually dive into some stocks I usually like to get a little pullback to have some security. But at this point, you've got some stocks that are starting to break out that have been real laggards and that are really important to the economy. And many of them actually are in the Dow that I think you can start positions here. And I'll explain when I, when I send out my newsletter, I explain how we could actually step in with a two-part position starting right here waiting for that pullback to add to the position because it looks like they want to go higher. So it's really timely. It's very important. And it's very important that we start to rotate through the different sectors. You know, I speak about the IWM. And if you relate it to the S&P, which is at all-time highs, think about the XLF, which is the financials, uh, the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund at all-time high. Mm -hmm. But the KRE, which is really important, it's the regional banks They've been lagging. Are they going to now move on? So I think there are a lot of stocks that you don't have to go for the, the, the all-time highs. You can go for stocks that have been lagging, and they have some room to go. So I think it's, it's quite timely to do that. And as you say, we've got the Tiger Dollar sale. That makes it quite a bargain. And I've got the, uh, my webinars that you can listen to, all these webinars that I That's talk right. about. Yeah, the rectangle formation. We just broke out of that. In the Dow, look at this rect. I drew it in right here. There's a rectangle, and we are sharply above it. That makes this whole area of 40,000 very good support shorter term. Basil, thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. and the next week, Tuesday, July 23rd, for your newsletter. Thank you so much for joining right. us. Thank you, Jacob. Guys, if you are not a subscriber to the opening call newsletter, become one today. Stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord.